Hello. Is there any Liverpool supporters out there today? Well, here we are at the grave of Liverpool's longest serving player. This is the grave of the great Elisha Scott. Elisha Scott was born on the 23rd of August 1893, one of a family of 10, and his football career started off with his local primary school, St. Simons on the Donegal Road, before progressing to the Boys Brigade and also Linfield. He was signed for Liverpool on Sunday the 1st of September 1912. His career, as I say, with Liverpool would last 22 years. His first game was on the 1st of January 1913 against Newcastle. It says this man had the movement of a panther, the grip of a vase and the eye of an eagle. And in a game against Blackburn at Ewood Park in 1924, he made a, such a phenomenal save that a man came running out of the terraces, ran on the pitch and kissed Elisha on the face. Elisha's last game for Liverpool was on the 21st of February 1934 against Chelsea. He would come home to his hometown of Belfast to take over a team as a player manager. A team sadly not here anymore. It's called the Belfast Celtic. And under his management, Belfast Celtic would win 10 Irish League titles, 6 Irish Cups, 3 City Cups, 8 Gold Cups and 5 County Antrim Shields. Sadly, Belfast Celtic would fold in 1949 and leave the Irish League as a result of what was known then as the Jimmy Jones incident on St Stephen's Day in 1948 against their arch rivals Linfield at Windsor Park. Now in his day, there was very few people ever get the ball past our Elisha, except for this man behind me here. He's called Patrick O'Connell and this mural here was painted by local artist Donny Devaney in honour and memory of this man. He was originally from Dublin and his football career started with the likes of Liffey Wanderers in Dublin before coming to Belfast and also playing for the great Belfast Celtic. Like Alexis Scott, he was an Irish international. He was the captain of Ireland and also first Irish captain of a little team called uh, Manchester United. But this man is best remembered as being the saviour of Barcelona. At the outbreak of the Spanish Civil War in 1936, the Catalan Giants were nearly bankrupt. And Patrick O'Connell here was the manager of Barcelona at the time. And he took them on a North American tour to the likes of Mexico City and New York and helped raise thousands and thousands of dollars to keep uh, the Catalan team from extinction. And besides soccer, there are also other sporting heroes interred here at Belfast City Cemetery from other sporting traditions such as GAA, boxing, rugby and numerous other sports as well.